Hello students, today we are going to start the next part of the chapter, pressure, force and pressure, where pressure in liquids and gases shall be discussed. So let us begin. So when I talk about pressure in the liquids, there are certain things to remember. You know that liquids do not have a fixed shape or size and they take the shape of the container. So when we pour a liquid in a container, it applies pressure on the base and the walls. So suppose this is my container and I have filled it with water. This is the water level you can see water is up till here and this is water inside the container so what is going to happen is the liquid is exerting pressure on the base as well as on the walls of the container and the liquid pressure is obviously dependent upon certain factors like the height of the liquid if I have little height then the pressure exerted is less if the height is more the pressure exerted will be more that is why I say that the factors are directly proportional even it depends upon the density when the density is more the pressure is more when the density is less the pressure is less like suppose I take water and I take kerosene so the kerosene density is lesser than that of water so the pressure exerted by kerosene will be lesser than exerted by water so the pressure exerted by liquids on the wall of the container is called lateral pressure. So as I showed you the pressure which the liquid is exerting on all the sides of the or the walls of the container we call it as call it as lateral pressure. Now to understand a little more you can do different experiments like the one I'm going to show you. So as you saw in the experiment, we had taken a small bottle with opening on the two ends. I'm just denoting it like this so that you can understand. And obviously this is more deeper one and this is near the surface of water. So as the depth is increasing, you saw the water level is going further. But from the top position, the water was falling closer. So that shows that as the depth is increasing, the pressure in the water is increasing and so it is spilling the water till a further end. Also you can say that the water comes out from the side walls and it is showing that it is perpendicular. You can see almost it is perpendicularly acting to the surface. Also the pressure exerted by the liquids at any given depth is independent of the size of the container you can try it with any size of containers you will find the same result so moving on to how to measure the pressure by a liquid so i have made a sample of a manometer manometer is a device it's a simple device to measure the liquid pressure and you can see that it is having a tube and this tube is open at one end it is fixed on a vertical board this is a scale or where you can see the marking done and this is a level of a liquid it may be water mercury and it is a u-shaped liquid with the tube and attached with a thistle funnel and when you will use this setting and put this what uh, thistle funnel inside the liquid whichever liquid you want to find the pressure of and you put it in you will see that this two level will change in the beginning it should both be equal and as you put in the pressure as you go down you will or deeper inside the liquid with this thistle funnel you will see that the level of the water or the mercury inside it will change and the difference in the levels of the liquid in the two arms is the measure of the pressure which is exerted by the liquid on the rubber membrane so actually here we are putting a rubber membrane on this thistle funnel and as you press it on the liquid you will see that the pressure here changes so this device will help you to know the liquid pressure also some points that you will you should remember are 
the pressure exerted by a liquid is increasing with the depth as i showed you in the previous experiment also as you go deep down the pressure is increasing and the liquid exerts pressure on the walls of the container you know that it is called lateral pressure and for the given depth the liquid is having the same pressure in all direction so even if you keep this funnel in a straight position in one particular or like this or like this it will show the same pressure if it is it is in the same level and it does not depend upon the size and shape of the container also the pressure due to the liquid is directly proportional to the density as you i told you in the beginning and it seeks its own level so if you have a particular uh, different suppose we are having different shapes and sizes of tubes attached together and we put water from one end you will see that the water in all these different tubes the water level will be equal so we say that the liquid seeks its own level now this pressure liquid pressure is helping us in various ways or it is seen in everyday life like the walls of the dams you know are made thicker at the base or the bottom and this is done mostly because at the bottom you know that the pressure in the dam will be more large or the greater lateral pressure is there in the bottom because of the greater pressure which is exerted at the bottom of the dam the dam walls at the base are very thick to withstand the liquid pressure then the water supply tanks are in the greater height like if the water tank supplies if you have seen somewhere near your house the water tanks are placed at very high ends and our houses are here so generally the height of the water level is increasing thus increasing the pressure so easily it is coming down in great pressure to our houses and also the deep sea di divers who go deep into the water they wear the special suits so that because otherwise what will happen the pressure inside our body will not change and it will lead to the bursting of the body so as we go deep inside the water the water pressure is exerting pressure on the human body so to save ourselves from that pressure the deep sea divers they wear a special suit now our next topic is pressure exerted by gases for example if you take a balloon and fill it up with air what happens if you leave the balloon without tying the end you will see that the air is coming out of the hole through which you had blown in air and the balloon just moves out with the force so the air is or the gas is also having pressure so this gas pressure is defined as the force exerted by the gas per unit area on the walls of the containing vessel so when i am talking about a balloon what happens this suppose this is a balloon and it is having air inside it so it is exerting pressure on all sides of the wall of the balloon so that is gas pressure even that same pressure is felt by each one of us that pressure is atmospheric pressure you might have read in geography about atmosphere you know that it is a layer a gaseous envelope which is surrounding the earth and also this atmosphere extends up to certain like uh, 300 kilometers from the sea level and it is because of the gravitational pull of the earth that the surface of the air or the air is denser towards the surface the air is denser towards the surface of the earth and as you go in the water as i just told in the previous part that if you go deep into the water you feel pressure similarly if you go above or climb a mountain the pressure is decreasing as you go high so this atmospheric pressure can be defined as a force exerted by atmosphere on the unit area of the surface of the earth and it is almost same in all the direction but it decreases in the same level at the same altitude it is same but as you go higher it will decrease altitude means height so as you climb up or you go to a higher altitude the pressure actually decreases now this atmospheric pressure is also playing a vital role in most of our day to day activities like you are able to suck in the juice through the straw that you are using so how does that help 
So if you know that when you suck in the air through the straw, what is happening? Suddenly there is a fall in pressure in the liquid and the outside pressure which is acting on the juice, it is pushing the liquid up into the straw. For it, I'll just show what I mean is, suppose this is your juice and you are having the straw. So when you suck in with your mouth here, what happens is you are drawing in the air and already pressure is applied here. This is the atmospheric pressure acting on your juice or your soft drink and the, that pressure will not match up with the pressure because suddenly there is a fall in pressure because you have sucked in from there. So and what will happen, this pressure which is acting on the juice will help the juice to go up into your straw. So you, you will be able to suck in the juice from the glass or the bottle. So you remember next time when you drink from your tetra pack or your glass of juice, how the atmospheric pressure is helping you to suck in the water through it. Also you might have seen rubber suctions. We use suction, um, like these rubber suctions we use at our home to hang our clothes sometimes or to for different work, sometimes in our refrigerators and all we just put this rubber suctions they are also working on the principle of atmospheric pressure also the lizards if you have seen the lizards move they are having the suction pads in their legs so the feet below its feet the suction pa pads are there which is helping them to stick to the wall easily and move so they are all making use of this atmospheric pressure also like the deep sea divers to protect themselves from the liquid pressure wear a suit similarly the astronauts they wear a specially designed suit themselves from the adverse effect of the low pressure on the high altitude of space so otherwise what will happen the bodies will burst because the pressure inside our body is a slightly higher than the outside pressure so generally that is why we don't feel the outside wind pressure even though it is now also acting on our body so inside our body the liquid pressure is little the blood pressure is little higher but sometimes what happens you might have seen people who climb up to mountains their nose starts bleeding because the pressure difference arises inside the body the pressure is high but as they move high alt to a higher altitude the pressure does not match up and the bleeding starts happening from nose so I am very sure with these examples you would be able to understand liquid and gaseous pressure. Thank you for watching.